Yes. Hey, you're hanging out with Keith John, C. Marty Fit, and producer Christina Flynn here in the last segment of the show here. We just wrapped up in the gym. Some great stuff, guys. If you're looking to get started in the gym, I, re- I would invite you to go back, listen to the in the gym segment with John and Marty, give you some tips to, to get rocking and rolling. And uh, we're always giving nuggets for you guys to help you through your day. But this time, hey, boys, I know Marty, I know Johnny's got a, I think he's got a restroom break coming up here. We're working towards the end of the show here. We're going to lean into the community corner segment now for the next 10 minutes. And then at, in 10 minutes from now, we are going to get started with the last segment of the show which is business and branding but let's quickly go around the table before we uh, say goodbye to john and marty boys great show today lots of energy we had robert we had adam we had aj we talked about the drone stuff to kick things off marty coming to you first pal what was the highlight of the show for you today brother before we walk out here today pal what was the highlight for you i had two highlights i think we had actually three highlights because yeah. all, all everybody was great but I think with Robert, it, it was great to have that discussion about entrepreneurship and yeah. our ha, putting our opinion on the table. I, I think with House, Mr. Mr. Bricks, I think that was great. Just talking about vulnerability, hearing someone successful like himself mm-hmm. uh, share his point of view. And then with AJ, the uh, when he made the reference to athletes and giving them a different angle to deal with the emotional side opposed to the man- mechanics and the skill side. I think it was all great, man. Great show. Yeah, it was a really great show. What about you, John? What did you take from the show today, brother? I just really enjoy the fact that we're taking a lot of, I guess you say a a lot of topics, a lot of stuff, whatever you want to call it, that, that needs to be put on the table for people to start to understand a little better, soak up and apply to their lives. And I just felt like today was pretty chock full of helpful shit. It wasn't it, Johnny. There was a lot of help. There's just nugget after nugget. Every guest coming in was giving stuff. This was, I, I, this was one of the best shows I think since we've, since we started this whole show, man, this was a lot of my vision of the show, like bringing people in, dropping nuggets left and right and just going from one segment to the other boom and flynn what did you take from today's show christina two things i think uh the first one i love the segment with robert i think that idea of vilifying employment versus entrepreneurship at the end of the day you have to do what's best for you and everyone has a different path i think oftentimes in employment we think about i no, i'm going back marty said it there's ways I would have done entrepreneurship differently. And even now there's ways in which the reason why I'm aligned with this show, sometimes you got to get a job and that's okay. It doesn't mean you're not an entrepreneur. Sometimes you got to get a job. The second and my favorite thing that happened in the show was John said, he was about to say fucking, and he said, fucking, he said, excuse my language. He said, the son of a bitch is how he corrected his language. He didn't say fucking, he then corrected it with son of a bitch. That was my favorite. <laughs> yeah, that was very. Jo- it was just like this, just a half a skosh step down. I don't honest. I don't know why I did that, but I just felt like for some reason using that foul language at that to drive that point that home moment. just didn't. It just didn't fit. Yeah, that's awesome. Son of a bitch was better. That's well, it. Was, son know, of a John bitch was better. Yeah, it, it it definitely felt better to me. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, man. Christina. What did you say? I missed that. I said, be authentically you. Do you, John? We're here to. I don't know how to do it any other way, man. I don't know how to. It's, if you don't like me, that's fine. Just go over there. That's right. That's right. I love all of you guys. Today, my favorite part of the show is the whole show. Uh, I was, I felt a little more organized today. My new setup was a little better today. I thought we had a great flow, a great show. The whole show was great. Everybody was great. And what's funny is that we got. A, I woke up this morning to a message from one of our one of our awesome participants in the comments and who's tuned in every single day. Shinku, Shinku, can you guys make the show a tad longer? So he said it to me earlier this morning. Now he's coming into the show saying, "Can we make it longer?" Shinku, we're working on it. You want a job? You want to come work with us and come have an hour? You can come have an hour on the show here, but we're working on it, Shinku. I'm telling you, man, if you think this is a show, you're wrong. We're building a platform. We started at 55 minutes. We, we went to 75 minutes. We went to 90 minutes. We're at 120 minutes. Trust me. You stick around for a long time. You're seeing Ted Turner in front of you. You're going to see a big, massive platform one day. You're going to go, holy fuck, I've been around since day one. Oh, yeah, you have been. So we're going to leave that there. We're going to walk John and Marty out of the lab. But before we do that, John, I got something here that I want to bring on the table for conversation coming up here, whether this week or next week. But I'm looking at you, brother. Scientists recently studied the body of one of the world's strongest men. This Who is what it? they found. And Who they was it? Yeah, they studied because you know the fellow. If he's alive, yes, I do. He, he is alive. Yes, I, I got to find his name. His name here. Uh, oh, it's Eddie Hall. Oh yeah, 
savage, man. So uh, first, first guy to first guy to deadlift over eleven hundred pounds. That's right. You heard me correct. Eleven. Eleven. Yes. That's so crazy. Bro. I yeah. so what I want to do, Nation, is I want to take this article. I want to digest it because y'all don't know. We get we have and and, and I'm I'm going to say this. John's going to dismiss it, but we have one of the world's. You're not going to find this conversation anywhere on the planet. So coming up this week or next, we're going to dig into this topic because I want it because they dig, they dug into the science of it, Johnny. They dug into like yeah. his ligaments and his muscles and how his body is actually like different genetically than other people. Yes, I was fascinated by it. And I was like, and then I had to get in his holy fuck, man. We, Marty, we got a guy in the lab who can talk about this with us. Yep. So mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, this is a good episode, Christina. There's people that are going to want to learn about this one because this is, uh, there's good shit here. There's really good shit in the articles. So we'll talk about it, Johnny, coming up in, in the coming weeks here in the lab. But uh, you guys get after it. Christina and I are going to celebrate somebody here. We got a good time saying, I ever do, you know, you're doing great work. Week five for me, waking up every morning. Oh, that is fucking awesome. There we go, baby. Let's I, go. I love that. That good time that makes me so happy, man, because those mornings when we're waking up or those days when we're grinding through this, yeah, I'll use the word. I think it was somebody like yourself because we need you, you need us, we need this together because we can't do this show if people aren't tuning in. It's true because we are going to turn this is a business, right? So if people aren't tuning in, we don't have a business here. So I thank you. I'm appreciative. And I know John and Marty and Christina are because you have a lot of choices. And Real Deal Prime, I see you as well. Bacon, everybody joining us in the comments today. Shinku, appreciate that. Hanging out with us here this morning. All right, John, Marty, you guys are going to rock and roll out of here. Me and Christina are going to celebrate somebody for Community Corner. Then we're going to come back with business and branding. And then we're going to get off for the day. All right? All right. Oh, guys. Bye, y'all. Good see, job, y'all. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Awesome. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right. Okay. Marty's out of here. Johnny's out of here. Christina, we're going to keep going here with our creator spotlight in the community corner. And uh, I took that segment a little bit longer because that's a good thing to talk about. I thought we'd just have a little further conversation about that. But let's pivot to the community corner, the creator spotlight. I do have somebody in Substack today we can talk about, but I think we're running out of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to lean into the LinkedIn creator spotlight today. And then as we keep getting better organized, I'm learning from you. Get 1% better every single day. Because yesterday, Tina, I was like, okay, I got to get these six things done for this show today. And then I thought, fuck, I'm not going to get six of them done. I got one done. I got one done. And it worked really well today. So and today it shows. I know. I and you. you worked on your button work. You worked on I, your yes, work. Yes, you're, you're, you're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. Yes. So, so tonight I'm going to do five things, Christina. No, you're not, Keith. You're going to do one more thing today. Just pick one. Yes. Okay. Listen, You'll let's get, get one, thing, one thing and I'll get you to only do one. thing. Okay. That? Okay. Good. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. Okay. So here's what we're going to do now. The one thing we're going to do right now, producer Jimmy is we are going to celebrate somebody over on LinkedIn. I like this segment of the show uh, because I like surprising them later on in the morning and they see the stuff on LinkedIn. Oh my God, they're celebrating us. Oh yeah. We're celebrating you. So let's do this, Christina. I'm going to uh, pull up my notes. And I'm not going to go to do. No, not right now. But <laughs> I get I get shit nation all the time. Shinko, if you're still here, you can hang out with us here. Shinko, you should come on the show, actually. Why don't you come as a guest sometime? Come do center stage and come we'll come get to know you. Come get to know you. I don't know where you live. We don't know where you're from. If, if you haven't followed me on LinkedIn, please follow me on LinkedIn. We're at, that's our source of truth. So come follow us on LinkedIn. Come find Christina Flynn. But okay. So today's creator spotlight is a, a community-led growth expert, Christina Flynn. Partnering with fast-moving B2B teams to drive growth through community, content, and experiential events. An investor in Resilient Founders, she, oh, little trick there, she invests $25,000 checks. Oh, that's cool. $25,000 checks in pre-seed startups focused on community, productivity, and connectivity. She's a founder and go-to-market strategist, a G-team strategist, specializing in go-to-market strategies that turn customer obsession into measurable ROI. She's got nearly a decade of experience. She's been leading community-driven growth strategies for almost 10 years. I'm going to throw to you for the why we're highlighting, but today's Mornings in the Lab Creator Spotlight for Tuesday, October 1st with Keith and Christina Flynn is, and a drum roll please, we have... Janine Sua. Janine Sua is our creator spotlight today here in the lab. And Christina, why are we shining this big Mornings in the Lab light on Janine Sua today? Christina. So Janine is a fucking powerhouse. Yeah. All the way. I love so that. Somebody that inspires me daily. She talks about ADHD. She gives facts and figures on how to manage your life 
with ADHD and how to do it really productively. What I love most about Janine, one, she's got this infectious personality, but two, little story for you. My first ever title when I was working in the MBA had community in it. And I begged and begged for community to be taken out of that title. And there was one reason it was really? because that title with community in it was not respected because it wasn't seen as a revenue generating arm of the business. Uh, what I love about what Janine is doing is that she's showing that community very much so has an ROI aligned with content, aligned with strategy and go to market and all of her expertise and experiences. There is a very direct ROI on community and she's teaching folks how to do that, her perspective on it. And she's putting her money where her mouth is, right? 25 paychecks for pre-seed that are focused in the area and b2b a lot of people when they're starting their business and keith you know this it's sexy to go b2c it really yes. is but if you've ever tried to build a b2c product we're doing it right now it's not yes. easy no. b2b is often a great way to get your feet wet as an entrepreneur Again, there's challenges to both sides, but I think the insights and the information that Janine is providing and how she's educating folks that are interested in B2B focused on community led growth and content, it's second to none, quite frankly. That post that you're showing there is the perfect example of just nuggets of information. Janine nice. is a powerhouse. She's someone you want to know. She's someone that you want to follow. And I, I can't say anything more about just click the follow button and connect with her. She's a badass. Awesome. Janine Sua, we would love to celebrate you here in the lab. You come hang out with us and come bring your check. Yeah. Come bring your checkbook and invest in our show, Janine. There you go. And then you know what we can do? We're going to turn your check and we're going to reinvest it into your LinkedIn profile so we can create a wonderful banner for you and we can up the level. But Christina, I got to tell you, man, for a person with no banner, with a very, it seems like a limited presence, she got 24,000 I mean, people. I know, I right? 24,000 people followers. So. Janine's doing just fucking fine. Not, I was just going to say. Her. Banner or not, she doesn't even need a banner. She I was just, the banner. I don't care if my way. Clearly doing something right, Janine. You are awesome. I appreciate you. I've awesome. loved getting to know you through this Creator Spotlight segment. And like I said, you are welcome to join us here. We'd love to have you here on the show to learn about you and come celebrate somebody who you would like to nominate for the Creator Spotlight. All right, Christina, that's that. Our Creator Spotlight Community Corner today. We would normally do more on this segment, but today we're going to mo keep moving on.